Now we will look at our last four examples in this problem set. So first we have negative 9.6 plus negative 5.4 divided by 1.8 times 8.3 minus 0 0.6. So again, going back to bed mass, we have to do our brackets first, which is 8.3 minus 0 0.6. So again, we still have to write out our original expression But now we're going to multiply this by 8.3 minus 0 0.6, which is 7.7. .7. Now we have addition, division, and multiplication. Well, going back to bed mass, we have division and multiplication before addition. And whenever we have division and multiplication, we have to do the furthest left first. So we're going to do negative 5.4 divided by 1.8. So we still have the negative 9.6. And now we're going to add that to negative 5.4 divided by 1.8. Well, a negative divided by a positive leaves us with a negative integer. So now we just have 5.4 divided by 1.8, which gives us 3. And then the negative divided by the positive gives us a negative. So we have negative 3, and then multiplied by 7.7. .7. Now we have addition and multiplication. So according to bed mass, we have to do our multiplication first. So we have negative 9.6 and then negative 3 times 7.7, .7, which gives us negative 23.1. Now we have negative 9.6 plus negative 23.1, which leaves us with our final answer of negative 32.7. Next we have negative 3 plus 9 times negative 10 minus negative 9. So we can see that we have two sets of brackets here. So we're going to do everything inside these brackets first. In our first set of brackets, we have negative 3 plus 9, which leaves us with positive 6. And then we're going to multiply that by our next set of brackets, where we have negative 10 minus negative 9. Well, minus a negative leaves us with addition, so we have negative 10 plus 9. So we, have, we can get rid of these brackets, and we have 6 times negative 10 plus 9, which is negative 1. And the positive multiplied by a negative leaves us with a negative answer, and 6 times 1 is 6, so our final answer is negative 6. Next we have 6 times negative 7 plus 2 minus 9. So again, according to bed mass, we have to do everything inside these brackets first. So we have 6 multiplied by negative 7 plus 2 minus 9. Let's first start off with negative 7 plus 2. Negative 7 plus 2 leaves us with negative 5, and then negative 5 minus 9 leaves us with negative 14. So now we have a positive 6 multiplied by negative 14. Well, positive multiplied by negative leaves us with a negative answer, so now we just have 6 times 14, which is 84. And then we can't forget about our negative sign out front. Now moving on to our final example, we have 5.7 plus negative 0.9 divided by negative 4.3 minus negative 4.9 times 2.4. So again, we have to start with everything inside our brackets. So we're going to have 5.7 plus negative 0.9, and then we're all going to divide that by whatever's inside our brackets. We have negative 4.3 minus negative 4.9. This minus negative turns into a positive. So we have negative 4.3 plus 4.9, which leaves us with 0 0.6. And then we multiply that by 2.4. So now we have addition, division, and multiplication. We have to do our division and multiplication before addition, but because we have division and multiplication, we have to start with furthest left, which is negative 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.6. So we have 5.7, and then we have a negative divided by a positive, which will leave us with a negative answer. So 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.6 leaves us with 1.5, and then we can't forget about our negative. And then we multiply that by 2.4. So now we have addition and multiplication, and according to bed mass, we have to do our multiplication first. So we have 5.7 plus our multiplication of negative 1.5 times 2.4. Negative times a positive leaves us with a negative answer, 
So now we just have 1.5 times 2.4, which is 3.6. And then our negative times a positive is a negative. Now we're just left with 5.7 plus negative 3.6, which is the same as 5.7 minus 3.6, which leaves us with our final answer of 2.1.